Hey everyone, Rich here again in Google Chrome. This is my current primary browser that I use, although sometimes I switch over to IE9 because IE9 happens to handle tabs very well, much like Chrome does because it puts them in separate processes. And this is the point of this video, is the task manager in Chrome, which is one of the coolest features of the browser that not many people use but should. If you want to get to it, uh, I think... Where is it from the wrench menu? I don't even know. I use a shift escape, which is the keyboard shortcut to it. So shift escape will bring it up. Oh, I remember I would right click in the blank area and go to a task manager. That's what I would do. So I, I would just take my mouse and do it that way. Same thing. It's got to be here somewhere in the wrench menu though. Is it under tools? Yes, it is. Actually, you can't see it because, well, let me show it. Pull it over here for a second. Tools. Task Manager. Okay, so it is off the menu there. Let me just put this back into view. There we go. So, Task Manager. What should you do with it? Why should you pay attention to it? Well, sometimes if you notice that your Chrome browser slows down, and it can slow down, believe me, uh, this is the easiest way to do it, is to see what memory your tabs are taking up and to see if it's utilizing any network resource like Hotmail for example if I hey look a bunch of spam in Hotmail who would have thunk it uh, <laughs> if I actually go to like the junk folder and go back it should show some network activity oh maybe not let me try logging out and logging in again because you can actually see live network activity uh, using an account I don't use and let's go and let's see what happens here oh there it goes yep we see some network activity as it's loading stuff so if a tab is actually loading something you'll see it and that's cool because I don't believe the regular Windows task manager does that so that's something cool to look at and you also see for your extensions how much memory it's using like for example adblock plus which a lot of you use is actually quite chunky on the memory resource it usually does not go below 40,000 K now if we go to the stats for nerds section and this I really want you to pay attention to because there are so many people that say Chrome uses the least memory out of any browser that exists wrong so wrong it's actually IE9 typically that uses the least memory because if you look at this and you look at the numbers down here this is and I don't have that many extensions loaded three it's all I have in two tabs look how much memory that's using that's huge huge both for memory and virtual memory Chrome uses a lot of memory the reason it appears to be faster is because it just has way better memory management so that counts for a lot but as far as which browser actually has better uh, memory utilization and release I should say IE9 typically does very well in that department if you don't believe me launch the browser and see for yourself now of course that's a, that doesn't accommodate for stupid things that flash will do or Java will do because those are separate programs even though the browser intertwines with them uh, very tightly but the point is is that Chrome is chunky on memory. I'm not saying it's bad. It's fast. Chrome is fast. Chrome is awesome. That's why I use it as my primary browser. But the point is, is that is it the least, uh, least hungry, so to speak, for memory usage? No, not really. This is kind of the same lines along what Firefox uses. But the difference is that when you close a tab memory use will go down because each tab well, I would actually have to reload this to show that but each tab um, is a separate process much the way IE9 is or IE9 is like Chrome or however you want to put it but anyway in Chrome you should check the task manager every so often just to see what's chunking up with memory because if you happen to use a lot of extensions and you notice browser slowdowns for apparently no reason it's probably an extension that's doing it and the way to see that is like I said just do a shift escape for the task manager or right click in a blank area and go to task manager same thing or wrench tools and soft screen but I showed you a moment ago task manager all the same thing and you should check it out now I, I right click this but this does let me bring this up so you can see all the options here 
these are not um, options for that specific thing. These are only for uh, definable columns. So if I check off private memory, for example, it just enables the column, but it's not specific for the selection I have. So I should note that. And um, now you can, if you want to, end process, just like you could in Windows Task Manager. Probably not a, such a good idea unless you have a tab that is totally stuck, which is rare in Chrome, because Chrome is pretty good about um, if a tab goes uh, bad on you, so to speak, it will crash it on its own, which is actually a good thing. And it will say, oh, sorry, this thing bugged out on you. I closed it which is fine. That sounds bad, but it's not. Believe me, it's a good thing. But you could end processes manually here. So for example, I'm on about memory right now. If I want to end this process, blam. And here's what happens. He's dead, Jim. That's Google humor. Okay. And it is uh, simulating what would have happened if the uh, process actually crashed. It didn't. I just ended it manually. And this is what happens when you do it. And you reload, and it comes right back. So there you go. Here's, there's some stuff about the task manager in Chrome. You should use it every so often, no matter how fast or slow your computer is, and especially if you have extensions or games in Chrome or something like that. If you have a lot of stuff, do yourself a favor and check this task manager out every so often to keep your browser, to keep your Chrome browser running fast.